This second video in the ebook video series discusses the following how to link to ebooks, how to link to specific chapters, how to download chapters, and how to embed a chapter in Canvas. Let's start within ebook central and jump straight into a book. If you need to review how to find ebooks, watch the first video on ebooks in this series, How to Find and Best Read Ebooks. Let's talk first about how to link to ebooks. We're looking at an ebook called Understanding Existentialism by Jack Reynolds. To link to this entire ebook, use the Share Link to Book option. This link is authenticated so that only faculty and students at TCC can access the content. Copy and paste this link to share. Do not copy and paste the link in the website URL. This would be a dead end for anyone with whom you share the link. Now, how do you link to a specific chapter? To link to a specific chapter, navigate to the desired chapter. In the top menu, click on the link icon. Copy and paste this link to share. Now, how do you download a chapter? We're back on the home page for this book. Notice near the top of the page the number of pages that you are permitted to download or print. This number refers to eBook Central's terms of use and its agreement with publishers. Each book allows a certain amount to be downloaded or printed. For this book, it looks like I have 51 pages that I can print or download. Now, if we take a look at the table of contents, you'll notice that the number of pages in each chapter is listed below the chapter title. Let's download Chapter 1, Existentialism and its Heritage. You may encounter a pop-up box to sign in. However, this is not required and you can continue as a guest. Once I download the chapter as a PDF, I can save it and then upload it later to Canvas so that I can embed it on a page. Okay, so now we've successfully downloaded the chapter and now we're ready to embed that chapter onto a Canvas page. While you can provide a link to students in Canvas, a lot of times it's better to fully embed a chapter within the Canvas page so that students have easy access to the content. So I'm already in Canvas, and I'm already on a page where I'd like to embed the chapter. I've also already uploaded the PDF chapter as a file to Canvas and inserted it on the page where I'd like it to show up. Once I've done that, I'll highlight this link, hit the link icon in the editing toolbar, and select the option Auto Open the Inline Preview for this link. Update the link, save, and the chapter PDF is now embedded in Canvas. You're not quite finished yet though. Don't forget to add your citation for the book. You can do this by going back to eBook Central, going to the chapter you downloaded, and selecting the icon with quotation marks in the upper toolbar. Select the desired citation style, copy, and paste into Canvas. Feel free to adjust the font size to accommodate the look and feel of the page. Save. Now you're finished. If you have further questions about how to access and use ebooks, please let us know. Thanks for listening.